So I'm in a thrift store now. I look for many things being the MCM hunter. I look for vintage furniture, vintage t-shirts, pretty much anything vintage. So in this go around, I am looking for vintage t-shirts, looking for the single stitched, older t-shirts, retro size t-shirts that I can flip. So let's see what I can find today. I'm feeling good. I am feeling lucky. So let's look. Oh my goodness. Now, normally I'm a guy that tries to find vintage furniture and vintage decor, but today I'm feeling like I'm going to switch over. I'm going to go to vintage t-shirts, see what I can find. I'm being a spy inspired by several channels on YouTube to look at vintage t-shirts. So let me take a crack at it and see what I can find today. Also, this is probably one of the best thrift stores that I've seen to date. The variety is on another level. So let's take a look in here, see what we can find in regards to vintage t-shirts. Trust me, I am feeling good. So let's take a look. This is a really cool Titans t-shirt, single stitch, $3.99. There is probably no shot that I would get less than 20 bucks on that on eBay. What a find in the thrift store. Well, I am shocked. I gotta keep looking for more if I found that in here. I have to keep looking for more. Now, based upon my initial knowledge, which is not much at all, it's just me watching YouTube videos, I know you're supposed to look for retro t-shirts and single stitch is super important. So let me see if I can find some single stitch retro t-shirts in this thrift store and flip for a little profit. Definitely gonna pick this one up. Vintage Brett Favre, single stitch, Reebok tag. Look at the nostalgia on that thing. In the card it goes. Now I would like to remind you that I am no expert at this, but I know retro sells, if it looks funky, if it looks cool, and it's a single stitch, buy it no matter what it is. So that's what I'm doing now. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the tail in the future, but we will see. Now, please let me know if I'm taking the right approach about this, looking at t-shirts. That's just what I learned from YouTube. You can learn everything from YouTube, but please leave a comment down below if you're like, yeah, those t-shirts suck or you're not taking the right approach about this. While flipping, I found this cool vintage Star Wars. Look at the back of that art. Uh, single stitch t-shirt. I think it had like a, yeah, 1997 um, on that. So definitely gonna pick that up, but that is really cool. You can't find that 699. That's a little more expensive than I wanted to pay, but super cool. Wow, just found that really cool Star Wars t-shirt. 
Let me look it up and see if the value on that. I am honestly shocked that it was still here for $6.99. That's pretty good, but it's from 1997. Look at the back on that thing, the front and the back. And one thing, it has like, um, it's tied to the Smithsonian. 1997 t-shirt single stitch let me look it up i just i see win 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 in this t-shirt so let me look it up oh my goodness i just looked this t-shirt up and guess what it's worth five hundred Dollars. I am not lying to you. Apparently, it is super rare. And I'll put a picture right here that they're selling it on Etsy for 500 bucks. There is no way this is real. So, I just finished up looking through every single t shirt in this thrift shop. Let me take a look at the where am I going? Oh, yeah, the sweatshirts. See if I can find some cool old vintage crew necks because I know those have some value as well. And then I'll recap on what I got. So I ended up striking out on the crew necks. There was this old vintage black jerseys uh, crew neck, but it's just black with no lettering on it or anything like that. So decided to leave that around, but that does not mean we did not succeed today because we scored on three, probably four vintage t-shirts that I believe have some value. And let me show you these right now. So first t-shirt I picked up is this Camp Barney, Camp Barney basically from 1999, single stitch, delta on the, on the tag, $5.99, just like the t-shirt. So I thought that was super cool. Second t-shirt we picked up was this cool vintage Tennessee Titans, Delta on the tag, $3.99 on that one. Super cool, look at that. Third t-shirt we picked up is the Brett Favre t-shirt, $8.99, a little bit more expensive. They know it has some value on it, single stitch. But look at that, vintage. It has to be because Favre hadn't played for the Jets in a long time, right? And last, but certainly not least, the Star Wars Vintage on a Delta Tag, $6.99, single stitched. I looked some of this up. Now, I, I don't know if they're like super hyped about the t-shirt, but I saw it going for $499 before tax so that's a $500 t-shirt right here $6.99 you cannot make this up you, you truly can't so unfortunately this is the end of the video in regards to these t-shirts but that doesn't mean that I'm not so dang hype I just found about, let me do the math, $700 in t-shirts at the thrift store. You can't make this up, it's possible. You can make money flipping t-shirts at the thrift store. Let me throw these online, see how much I get. And like always, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and peace.